This is Raskard of my people, seeing the suffering of people all over the world. Yes, I have listened to the dying declarations of many people over the years in hospitals that I have worked, including these United States of America. I have seen and listened and I've learned many things. What my eyes have shown me and what my conscience has spoken to me, seen in politics and politicians from Jamaica to other places on the planet from which I have been. Yes, as a person who trods in certain desolate places. What is happening to these people, these who are trying to run from any time a person would run from their homeland, the place of their birth, to anywhere else? It takes a lot of desperation and courage to cause that and to do that. Many people have died trodden through, yes, through those places in America, trying to get into America because they have no means to secure proper asylum. Whose fault is that? That's a human problem. I understand that every country must secure their borders. But when you see certain people, politicians, putting things in their way to cause them, to kill them, even to drown them in waters, and we have seen that happen at the Texas border especially. Now this Governor Man Abbott and his friends I want to know if you tell me who are the real killers of the people, who are the genocidal murderers of innocent people. Just like how when we talk about preventable deaths during COVID, and we see we're in those people in charge are talking about injecting COVID, bleach into people to cure the COVID virus, <laughs> while you see other medical doctors stand up there and say nothing and do nothing. Tell me who are the real murderers of the people. Even coming straight from Jamaica, come right along where you see the politicians them. Yes, man, and the murderings of the people who come up and speak truth and it goes against the system, their system, things that they don't want people to know as the truth. But in America, we know, and in Jamaica, wherever Ja people has to suffer and die, yes, from the enemy, yes, from evil and wicked people, Ja shall speak to them in his wrath, and will deal with them in his sore displeasure. Trust I and I, they will not escape the judgment of Jah. Read Luke 11, and you will see what our Rascado is talking about. We have to pray for each other, including the murderers them. Yes, Jah shall speak unto them in his wrath and deal with them in his sore displeasure. Destruction is certain, and no one who treats Ja people in ways like this, murderous ways, will escape Ja's judgment. Rastafari, I know. <laughs>